I don't care at all. <clears throat> what is up? My name is Garrett at Yoker on Twitter, Y-O-G-R-T-T. -T. Thank you so much for tuning into the Now Station YouTube channel. Welcome back to another album review or reaction, whatever you want to call this thing. This is literally, I'm live on Twitch right now. I'm live on YouTube, so uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you really do care. But we're here to really just talk about this Baby No Money album. Uh, just dropped, fresh as fuck. Uh, here we are, what is up? And uh, you know, Baby No Money is someone who's definitely been a staple on this, this channel, let alone just a staple in modern day hip hop culture. If if you're anyone who's been paying attention since last year or just beyond that uh you know i found him as i've told the story many times on this channel i found him uh on soundcloud.com you know uh have you ever heard of soundcloud go on over to soundcloud.com and you will find the like minds of baby no money and etc but uh you know there's a song called i believe litmus and that kind of just set everything off into this crazy trajectory to where we're really just getting this album that is called I Don't Care At All. And, uh, you know, while that sentiment, that statement, that sentence is a perfect uh, bow to put around the the product that is Baby No Money, the, the body of work, the discography that is Baby No Money. Uh, I feel like there is still a lot more below the surface. There is a lot more to Mr. Uh, you know, baby, fucking no money. And it, it, he's kind of just became this kind of weird superstar, whether it's based off of the song La La, which not only got Billboard placing on the charts and uh, various just accolades as far as getting over 100 million views on youtube as well as a carly ray jepson feature as well as a enrique iglesias feature on the remix i think that baby no money also has a lot to stand for whether it's for the country of canada or just the the i don't know he blew up in, in china before anything really if you really want to break it down and then you you fast forward to now and you have just this crazy hit that is la la and then you have this album out of nowhere that was really just introduced on twitter only a couple days ago and i feel like baby no money is going to be a huge fucking star and i've been saying this since the, uh, the video that i made that said baby no money will blow up in 2018 here we are in 2019 it's november and we're getting an album that will blow up an album that will definitely show numbers that will kind of almost uh like clarify or just like set a foundation that allows the video that i said baby no money will blow up in 2018 to kind of just like sit and rest and just kind of exist in a very cool way but baby no money right now is going to i hope you know i hope this album's great like uh you know i have an album review for baby steps and baby steps was an album that came out last year and that was something that i really really was looking forward to you had baby gravy you had uh, i forget the name of the album before that but you, you you just had so many fucking great fucking features as well as just uh, a collection of work on soundcloud that just kind of progressed a very monotone like a very casual sound that also kind of just infectiously grew into this kind of like like we're seeing right now where he has a fucking song that is on the billboard charts right now and that is literally showing you that his sound can adapt into a mainstream format into a way that people want to fucking listen to this over and over and over and over and over whether that's melody or beat selection or regardless like the team up of y2k if i was him i would only make songs with y2k from now on if you look at the numbers on la la like it's fucking insane in comparison to everything else like he's he's really just the fruit of the labor if you show the work that this guy has put on in the past few years like to get to now i'm sorry if i'm hyping this up i'm sorry if i'm dragging this on but like for real like this man has kind of just c 
come in and just shown me the fuck up as someone who's been like trying to make videos as someone who's trying to put forth the sound of like being like yo this guy fucking rocks like he's like yeah i rock but i'm also a superstar and that's never going to be contested if you really look back on the discography if you really look back on the releases that he's put forth as well as the numbers that supplement those very releases it, it is something to stand forth and uh here we are with the very album uh i don't care at all and even that in itself is fucking cool as fuck and uh you know who am i to hold you back from it so here we are <sighs> baby no money i don't care at all all lowercase beautiful No compass, every man for himself. Trying to get my money, yeah, I'm ready by my will. Pull a swing on me, can't you see I'm black belt? Wonder why I'd be the only rapper by my health. If I'm not grinding, might as well put me in hell. Labels chasing me, cause I deactivated stealth. Fucking hated school, I was saved by the bell. Ain't so different from you yet, yeah, why can't you tell? Cash in, cash out, consider it dealt. Do this for myself, I ain't do it for the clout. Never copy lanes, yeah, I took another route. Always cross grains, never shed a bit of doubt Fill my cup and I want you to talk shit Never been an op and I've never been a bitch Be my guest, go burn your own bridge Caution golden up, don't need a new fridge Bad thoughts All I got is bad thoughts I gotta make sure They don't break me So like Hold on If you look at the album cover you see two different colored socks on a very plain background. The fact that anyone's wearing socks and that is the only thing I can talk about on your cover art is already like showing you that you don't care at all. And that is the title. Um, I was very subdued for that track to play out because honestly, like, I, as a rap fan, if you're somebody who respects everything that this foundation builds up to where you're even allowed to get somebody that is named baby no money and allowed to be exactly what he is if you look at this shit you're kind of like bro like what do you mean you don't care like at least have a little bit of respect at least have a little bit of like hey thank you thank you for a little little bit of something but this just seems like hip like hip hop was created after TikTok. It's almost like like at face value if you're somebody who finds this and this is what it is, it's almost like there's no foundation for hip hop and this is just something that existed because kids are doing the whoa on fucking TikTok and that that obviously isn't the case. That obviously isn't isn't a thing and that's kind of like a hot take and I'll I'll, I'll take the heat for it. But Regardless, if you're going to call your album I Don't Care at All and your shit's just a bunch of socks on the fucking cover, you know, you better show up. And I hope he fucking does. That's all I'm getting at is like getting into track number one. That was more of an intro track, quote unquote. Like that's almost like more of like a s intro s paragraph to something that w you're going to get into, whether it's an essay on anything. Like, your intro paragraph, if you're going to make something to be said, if you're going to fucking have a stance on something, if you're going to fucking make a body of work that actually has something to say, and you're going to actually put forth the music to, to convey that even thought, that's a decent, that's a decent intro paragraph. That's a de decent intro track. That was fine. That was more character as well as like just if he didn't switch it up and end i honestly wouldn't feel this way but the fact that he did makes me feel like there is going to be something on this album that is going to be something that we can say hey hey this is this is real shit we got to take this serious this isn't just tiktok rap this isn't just fucking Let's hit the one, one, two, three. This isn't that. This isn't this. Like, hopefully, 
that's what I want for him. You know what I mean? So that's why I got to say it like this. Like, I'm here to at least say, if you don't care at all, then I won't care at all either. And I hope you make me care at least a little bit. If you're going to call your album, I don't care at all. Uh, track number two on God. Featuring Lewis Grant. That's a cool feature, though. I respect that. I just wanna cut loose, fuck a job, fuck it. I could be my own boss, oh god. Just come up my own check, check, make my own bread. Take it from the pet, cause my holy fully dead. Oh. I like it. Next track is Slop, and that is clearly uh, a single that came out like two weeks ago. I, felt like yeah, I liked it. Trying to buck up, my money got way longer. Do you need a close up? I'll place another comma. Yeah, always round up. My dick can cause the trauma. Yeah, she wants to hook up. I quite a G, so I made a nun. There's one, two, three. Girl, he trying to suck. You is a flea. Nothing but a schmuck. Got a degree, and I'm just warming up. Yeah, need a close up. I'll place another comma. Yeah, always round up. My dick can cause the trauma. Yeah, she wants to hook up. But I'm cold and I'm hot. That's probably why she talk I was told that I pop And these labels getting blocked Your shit old, I'm on top And I'm sorry that you flop Take a full toe like a thot And your shorty cutting crop Thick, thick, chip, feel slick Want my energy, huh? Short dick, bucks, quick Mark you meant to read, huh? Lipstick, pit, nip Honey's all on me, huh? Big stick, nerd, click I'm a lady scream Sweet deal Sweet deal Buy one, go on three Slop. Why is he trying to bite me? Shining on my ex is what's playing right now. That is the other single off of this album featuring Young Gravy. Been enjoying it the past few days. I love that part. I got down to that part. But would would you credit that to anyone but the producer? Just saying, like, if you're going for dance music, for sure. That made me dance. But again, where do you not care? Where is it does it say that you do not care? Because I feel like the fact that you're, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm reading too far into this. I'm a big fan. I like this music. I do. I just want an answer for the, for the reasoning for why we're getting into a song that is called, in all caps, I don't care. I got, or I don't care at all. Cause I got money. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six exclamation points. Maybe five to six exclamation points. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? How much money does this guy have? We need to know. We need to get him to uh, transport it to a place that can be held until he fucking cares. That'd be nice. Maybe. Just a thought. I don't care at all cause I got money. Never mind. Take it all back. I think I need to change my name, bro. I fuck with this. Money, yeah, I got a lot. Haha. <laughs> Peso, yang, euro, pound, the money don't stop. Nah, hey, bought it. Yeah, nice new house, bitch, I bought it. New pink, could you feel it? Yeah, I bought it. Watch you whip my wrist like I'm Crockett. Yeah, I'm about it. I don't care at all, cause I got money. Kiss my teeth, only taking Andre when I do a feat. 
sun, man in the seas She want me to last, but she never said please So proud that I got my money now That was... That was... You know what? I will let that slide. I will let that title slide. You want to know why? Because it's basically an interlude. It's not. It's just like, let's segue to the next full-length song, which is called Pop Song. Maybe he'll sing. Just maybe. Label told me right up. I also want to point out one thing that I am completely wrong on is the fact that La La nor the La La remix are on this album. Perhaps a deluxe version could drop in the future, but uh, there was no capitalization on the La La song, so any numbers from this I don't care at all album is going to be uh, not inflated by those uh, inclusions. But regardless... I'm digging it so far. Girlie told me buy that new purse. I said no. Everybody seems so proud that I'm charting now, and I don't know why, but it seems that I'm uninterested. So I ditched my girl. Finally felt right, and I bought myself pearls. Oh shit, I'm enthusiastic, cause now I got rich, and I'm glad this ain't a bit. No way, don't care. Won't do it your own way. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know why, but it seems that I'm uninterested. Find me piping yoga thoughts, cause I need a match. She had a downward dog. She a champ, no park. I don't know why, but it seems that I'm uninterested. I'm so impressed with myself. You'll stay interested. That song was called Pop Song, and I know that is like kind of. It just also bleeds into the fact that this album is called I Don't Care at All. And uh, if you're going to name your song Pop Song and you are reaching for a pop inclusion on uh, any, any, uh, you know, any accolades that come with a stereotypical pop song, uh, you know, you're going for catchy melodies, uh, you know. Just fine hooks, just fine lyrics, but really it's a catchy beat, catchy melody, and something that the people can sing along to. And as far as those things go, as far as those boxes being checked, uh, you know, Baby No Money did that. And that's, that's impressive, and I fucked with that song. I really did, and I can catch myself being like, I'm uninterested, and that's fine. I'll, I'll take that. I'll wear that on my chest. But, uh... You know, this album is just proving me fucking wrong or right. or it, It's just doing exactly what I wanted it to do. And, you know, as much shit that I'm talking, as much hate that I'm providing to the world on this album, on this live stream, uh, you know, I still do feel like I am enjoying this album. And I'm interested to review this album, to be completely fair, to com be completely honest. Uh, going forward, though, we got the song Jimmy Neutron featuring Little Mayo, the alien, not of this earth, not of this world. And, uh, you know, here we go. Get it. Talk your shit, dog. He wanna keep me out, start building the ceiling. Fuck the You don't want no invasion, bitch. Bitch. That was cool. Lil Mayo was featured on Young Gravy's album 
Um, I don't remember the the title of that track. I still don't really understand the whole mantra of the young or little Mayo, uh, you know, movement. I don't understand if it's like one of them, whether it's Baby No Money or Young Gravy doing the voice. But who am I to tell? Who am I to care? Beyond the fact that it's fire music and it it, it, it gets a pass for me. You, here's your pass. You you get it, dog. Um, you get the pass here. Here's your pass, Lil Mayo. You're allowed to keep making music for whatever reason I feel like I have any say or any reason to actually feel like I should uh, make that jurisdiction. Anyways, uh, pushing forward, we do have the song Pooch. And uh, already this sounds like something that was previewed on Twitter or something. Uh, But I'm excited for the little bit that we just played. Let's get into it. Pooch. Track number eight out of ten. I grind, I make that bad. I search, I find, I take that bad. I work, I grind, I make that bad. I search, I find, I take that bad. 26 so slow down, now I'm known, cut down, always gonna pull out, wait, 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 I'm a trendsetter, know I'm real better, flaming like a pepper, yeah, of course a little pressure, hunt for a bigger, bigger, I'm after all the prey, hunters, I'ma play, yeah, hit the buffet, baby, got some money in a really cliche, went down before a couple years, now it's time to play, check up on the growth rate, lady need to hydrate, so she wanna dictate, four point bank rate, money made me fixate, bitch, I ain't a lightweight, peso the queso, getting rich, yeah, if you say so, Bitch, I love my bread, buy my filo, like I'm Play-Doh I work, I grind, I make that bed I like that beat a lot, that was Pooch, track number 8 uh, But I just wanted to read the first sentence or two from the editor's notes on this album uh, A sense of humor can do a lot for a rapper one need only check the discographies of Big Sean, Eminem, and Slick Rick to know just how much wordplay and narrative can benefit from a few well-educated jokes. And while I want to laugh at that, that is actually a pretty decent way to describe that album that we are listening to right now. That album, this album, uh, and uh, you know, the whole I don't care at all kind of thing does come across from each of those while you know when big sean's coming across is like he doesn't care at all it's different in eminem and slick rick i do understand what that is saying and i do understand the wordplay beneficiary as well as just like the joke of it all and uh that is why i can come back around and to say that like while the album is called i don't care at all i do feel like this guy cares more than anybody and the attention to detail that is being portrayed and just executed on this project is something to hang your fucking hat on if you are baby no money and to hang your fucking hat on if you are somebody who is uh you know maybe a fan or just somebody who's doubting on them and just wants to like swallow their pride and just be like hey this guy is fire and it's okay Everything's going to be okay. He doesn't care at all. But it's going to be oh fucking K. Uh, going on to track number nine, we have It Gon' Last. I already like the spelling of this track. I got bands, they multiply. Woo! They gon' last. They gon' last. And my cash is exponential. They gon' last. There's no doubt Labels on the phone always asking how Cause you know I never took a handout Getting money, yeah, that's what I'm about It gon' last It gon' last (laughs) Final track of the night, gone! 10 out of 10 is the track listing. We're on track 10 of 10. This album isn't a 10 out of 10. I will spoil that. Gone!
You know, I think that alone is a cool song. But in the end, you know, first reaction, I do appreciate the, uh, like, I wanted to say the appropriation, but I stopped myself because that doesn't really make sense. But it is. It's kind of like if you are not known. Like, if you're someone who has been a fan of Baby No Money for a long-ass time, and this is this is an album that you've been looking forward to, but really you're just looking forward to a project, I don't know if this is the album that's going to satisfy you. But if you're someone who's been paying close attention, and looking at the trends, and looking at something that has existed through Baby No Money's discography, and are somebody who has been t- paying attention to just the recent blow-up of his his, his, you know, breakout fucking mainstream single, La La. Uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna kind of expect more melodic stuff. You're gonna kind of expect more, uh, you know, quote unquote soft stuff. And that's not a bad thing. That is not something that you should just be like, yo, I'm fucking pissed, dog. Why the fuck did baby no money not come through with the hard stuff? But at the same time, I'm someone who's favorite baby no money track is meta so it's like that's a whole different world in comparison to this album in a lot of ways but i do think that a lot of these songs are a lot more like cohesive and a lot more uh, you know melody driven and a lot more catchy that's what comes with that type of thing uh but i think that you know over the test of time these songs may prove to just be uh, something that has a lot more longevity and that's fucking fantastic as someone who's just a fan of somebody who just wants success and that somebody is baby fucking no money and baby no money has just put out a new album called I don't care at all and do I care at all I care more than just a little bit uh but this is just a first reaction definitely look out for the review if you are new to this channel uh please subscribe please just uh check out anything if you are even slightly interested i appreciate all of your time all of your views all of your support um my name is garrett at yogurt on twitter y-o-o-g-r-t-t uh on twitter instagram as well now in rotation on those two platforms as well as well take care of yourselves and uh oh shit oh fuck that is all folks